Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here with darling Natalie today <laughs> because we have a favorite 15 for you. That's and right. this quilt is called Sticks and Stones and it's just... It's really cool. It's really cool because this is the block right here and how you put this block together with these graduating squares uh -huh. makes it crisscross throughout the whole quilt. And it's super easy to make and super fun. And perfect for a jelly roll. It is perfect for a jelly roll. So let me show you how to make this. So to make this quilt, you're going to need one packet of two and a half inch strips. And we have used Collections for a Cause etchings by Howard Marcus and Three Sisters for Moda Fabrics. And it's a gorgeous line of fabrics, it's as you can see. Beautiful. It is beautiful. You're going to need some background right here. And your background is going to be one and three quarter yards. And that takes care of your little bit of borders. You can see we have mm -hmm. like a piano key border out here, but this fabric and this inner border fabric and our squares all comes yeah. out of this and one I think and it's three cool. quarter yards. It makes a really cool effect, you know, having those borders kind of combined in the same color. It just looks it does. really And cool. I did this because I'm really scientific about things and I ran out of squares, so I put in the solid border. Scientific, <laughs> but also you want to make the best use of all your fabrics. So it's you got, true. You got it's to true. use everything. Which it's I true. Think is I did. Very cool. I did. And, you know, that's usually what I do is I, you know, I do use it all and then I like have to figure out from there. And that's how, kind of how I design. So the backing is four yards and this is our backing right here. And I love any fabric that has words on oh, it. I yeah, just think so it's beautiful. Pretty. And this has brave, compassion, loyalty, encouragement. It's just a great, Optimism. pretty line of fabrics. And that's this right here. I love and, that. And it's just four yards. And so I want to show you how to make this because it's way easier than you think. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to grab some strips. And ordinarily, I would leave my strips folded in half and cut them that way. But because we need so many different cuts, I'm going to open them up and I'm going to stack, I don't know, four, yeah, five. I think four sounds good. Yeah. However many you feel comfortable cutting through That's right. without kind of getting them crookedy. Let's put some, get some different colors on here. You want to match we'll up your little selvages down there. Can you straighten these out down here? Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you over the, the tail the end of things. Straightening at the at the back end. That's right. Okay. Because we got lots of cuts to make and you need to pull it. You have a little, oh, that's me. Never mind. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put one more. I'm gonna put this nice dark gray. So I think I have five. Okay. So whatever you feel comfortable with, go ahead and do them. Now, whenever you're cutting out uh, lengths, different lengths, you want to start with your biggest ones. And so I'm going to start here by cutting my selvages off right here. And then I'm going to use this ruler. And I, I love this ruler for this reason. I need a 10 and a half inch strip. And what I can do is I can actually just slide this right here so that from one to 10 and a half, I can see that that takes up the whole strip. That's so great. I'm going to do this and I'm going to set these up here. Next, we have eight and a half. So 10 and a half, yeah, make sure eight and a half. Lined up. Then we have six and a half, and you're gonna do this to your whole roll. So. If they get a little off, you can always reposition a bit. Yeah, and you can just slice that little edge so it's nice and straight again, too. Yep. Eight and a half, so we're at six and a half. Mm -hmm. Can't go too far, I'm stuck by my sewing machine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I'm just gonna come in a quarter of an inch more, like this, and then I'm so just that, gonna yeah. trim this edge off right here so that I know that they're know that there's six you need to and a press half. that fold that might make it easier to cut I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this and just trim it off okay and that's why it's better kind of to have a nice long place where you don't move your strips because then you'll be able to just keep cutting along like this then so after six and a half you go to four and a half like this mm -hmm. and then you go to two and a half so then you cut one two and a half right here and you just leave those there. Now this little piece of extra right here, this is going to be our little piano key border out here. And so we want to cut those four and a half. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this one four and a half and this one four and a half. 
and it leaves you with this little bit here. And then these we're going to set, keep those away from our sets so that we know that those are for the border. Right. All right, then okay. you need to take your, <laughs> your background fabric and you're going to cut two and a half inch squares. Lots of them. We're not going to give you the number because it's... It's 120, but don't be scared by that. It's fine. <laughs> you get like 20 or what, 16 out of a strip. Yes. So you'll just cut strips. A bunch of strips. Yeah. And you'll cut them into two and a half inch squares. And we're going to put a white block at the end. Okay. Then we're going to start with this one and we'll put a white block here and then this needs a little two and a half out here. So let's pick one of these. Perfect. That's cute. All right. Next we have this six and a half here. All right. And it will also have a white square. See mm -hmm. how this chain is beginning to form? Nice. And then this will have a four and a half on the other side right here. So now we have half of the block laid out and a hack is that you can actually make just this block over and over again and flip it right. and it will work. But to show you guys how this is all going to look, I'm going to go ahead and keep laying out this block. Okay. So, so you're going to put a four and a half yes, there. Yes. And a block. And then you could put a two and a half all the way down here. Oh, for that. the next row? But we need the yeah. six over here. So we're going to put okay. this six. Very cool. And the way I remember is because my blocks are going to go like this, you know, and it's going to end. Uh -huh. It's going to end with this one. That's and neat. so here we have, a, we'll put a little red one out here. And then we'll put this one over here. This one's going to go here. Mm -hmm. And then in here goes the eight and a half. And we will put... Oh, we might have to switch. You could use that in. gray one. Or this or one that. even. Yep, that's a pretty one. And so this is the whole block this way. Very, very but cool. But this is the same as this one flipped around. So right. shall, we, shall we sew some together? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do so you're just these gonna two. Pick up a strip. Um, you can just hand me whatever strip you want me to sew together. Okay. We could do the. <laughs> we could do the the two ends if you want. I'll just have you put the white block on every one. Okay. Which is how I think it, Which you know. Which is just exactly what you were. That's right. And then I'll press these. And I'll give you back the ones that go together. All right, here's these. Okay. And then this one goes together. Now, the, one of the nice things about having uh, putting a solid in here is that there's no right or wrong side to it, and so you can use either side. So there's that. Okay. So once you know you're down to like your eight and a halves, it's always going to have another square or another strip on the end. The eight and a half is going to get a two and a half, and the six and a half is going to, you know, so forth and one. so on. I mean, it's that's a lot of math, but. You know it's going you know it's coming. Yep, we got it. There we go. And make sure as you're laying them back down that that is happening. You know, that cascading is happening. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for making sure I was going to sew the right end of that. Yep, got you. <laughs> there we go. And this one. Oh, this one must be the end one. No? I must have sewn it wrong. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good? Yep. All right, let's sew it. Let's fix it. I'm working on it. She's going to do the Jenny rip. There we go. Okay. There we go. And we're going to sew a quarter of an inch right here. And then that goes in there. That's right. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to start sewing these together. And again, watch to make sure that when you pick up, this white should never match up with a white. It should be the next one down. You know, it should Little cascade. Stair steps. Yeah, and so I'm just going to start here. And I like to take a few stitches and then line those up. And then the rest of this just sews up. And 
then we're going to add the next one. So we'll open this up. And then this one goes here. And also there are little seams on here where you can match these up. So you make sure that your, your little corners line up. All right, then I'm going to sew these two together. And this is another one of those really fun quilts that look like you worked so hard. And it really, it's just sewing little stitches together. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. There we go. And then you can press this one. And we can show you what we mean by flipping them around. We go press that one that okay you will see the magic of this begin to happen hang on i just gotta get my seams to lay flat <laughs> just the way i like them just the way you like them all right well all right so see how this the way these run is identical to the way these run like this Yep. But when you put these together, if you flip them around like this, they'll line up and cascade Perfect. perfectly. I love it. So then we can just, you know what I want to do? We have two half blocks over here. Let's mix these. Oh, so they're not the same. Right. That's and so again, this is the same. All your blocks are going to be the same. But we're going to flip this and look at that. Mm, but this so, one is two blues. Do you want to use this red instead? Oh, maybe. Oh, but then you have two white ones. Well, whatever will we do. Matter. I'll do the blues. There we go. All right. Perfect. I love it. So then we'll sew these two together and that will make our whole block. All right. Now let me sew these two. Okay. And then we'll show you how we put these together. Here's one more to press. Okay. I'm going to clean these up right here. And you're going to do this to your whole, uh, your whole jelly roll. So once you get your blocks done and they're all stacked up, you're going to need 20 of these blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them. So you can see all of these are stacked going exactly the same direction. But what we're going to do is we're going to put them together so they cascade. So see okay. how this goes up and down? And if you always put, match your white squares together, it's going to make this beautiful cascade like this. So let's take one of these. I'm going to take this block and I'm going to go back here to the quilt and show you how they fit in here. Right. So this one starts here like this. And you can see how the white square ends up. You're going to match the next one. You're going to match it like this, so, they so just that rotate kind of like mm -hmm. they just rotate back and forth, really. back and forth like this. And so we've got one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five. So twenty blocks, mm -hmm. and it just comes together so quick and easy. Now you do want to make sure because there's some pieces in this line that don't pop against that white, and you want to make sure that your cascading rows really show up because that's where the you know the real punch comes in for this quilt right. is if you see those cascading rows and while this is a beautiful line of fabric and we needed to use all 40 strips if I'd had more I probably wouldn't have used these lighter ones yeah I guess if you wanted to you could cut a piece of border fabric sure to, sure absolutely print in and out absolutely or so pick then, a different background so then once your quilt is done you have a whole stack of these from cutting all your strips mm -hmm. and this is where you're going to make your piano key border and what I do with a piano key border is I take these four and a halves and I'm just going to sew them together like this two at a time and I'm going to sew a bunch of twos like this and then I'll sew two more just chain piece a bunch yeah I'm just going to grab from my whole big pile and just keep sewing these together and when you get a bunch sewn like this 
I mean, this is only two, but you'll see what I mean. So then, then you, you can take those two and put them together, yep. and then you would take four and eight. Mm -hmm. And, and then, like yeah, that. yeah, that's exactly what I do. So then I, I'll do f sets of fours with all of them. Then I do sets of eights, and then I start attaching them to each other until you have this nice long border. Mm -hmm. And so then you're able to put it. I didn't have enough again to go all the way around. So I just started here from the middle, did across the top and down the side as far as I could go. And then I filled in, because this is these are four and a half inch wide, so your border right. piece down there is going to be four and a half as well. But first I put a little two and a half inch border and then I put these on out here. Right. And so the quilt ends up being, what is it? Uh, 60 by 72. 60 by 72. And so it's a great size quilt. The quilting pattern on this is called Cotton seed. Yes. Cotton seed. It's a really cute it's pattern. It's really cute. It kind of looks like a little cloud. It does. It looks like it's just a fun little quilting pattern. Anyway, much easier than you thought. And we hope you enjoyed this favorite 15 tutorial from Natalie and I on the Sticks and Stones quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.